uh, the automobile isn't over here in, in Oshawa quite yet. Uh, and so we still have uh, General Motors of Canada is still headquartered here in Oshawa, uh, up at uh, Ontario Tech University. They still have their, their wonderful research labs. Uh, they have their wind tunnel, uh, so a lot of research is still done. Um, and uh, one of the reasons uh, that they're testing autonomous vehicles here is because we have all snow. Uh, here in Ontario, and so one of the, the things that Canadian engineers are going to have to overcome is how autonomous vehicles will handle in all weather conditions. Uh, so one of the things that they have, uh, you know, down in California that we don't have is wonderful weather year-round. Uh, and so in order for autonomous vehicles uh, and these types of things to really work out, we're really going to have to test them here in Canada. So Oshawa produced uh, the cars that we all saw on the road back in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, even today. Uh, so we're talking about uh, pickup trucks, uh, family uh, station wagons, um, Chevrolet's Buicks, uh, you know, the Impala, the Lumina, uh, cars that were, were mass produced, you know, used by high schoolers, uh, used by families, uh, and, uh, you know, weren't the Corvettes, weren't the, uh, the flashy sports cars uh, that collectors like to keep. And those are some of the stories that we're trying to preserve here, or the, the stories of those, those everyday cars uh, that were built here in Oshawa, used, uh, and then disposed of uh, because they were, were such workhorses uh, of the modern families in the last uh, 30, 40 years. Say, so I'm quite hopeful. Um, and uh, people still drive cars, there's cars whizzing by on the street right now, uh, so people are still purchasing cars. How they purchase them, how they use them uh, is obviously changing, uh, how they're fueled uh, is, is obviously changing as well, uh, but I think there's, there's you know, changes always happening, and, and one of the things we like to think about is the fact that Oshawa was actually a carriage town uh, back in the late 19th century, uh, and, and Oshawa at one time was home to the world's uh, or sorry, to the British Empire's largest carriage works. Uh, they're producing, uh, by 1914, around 20,000 carriages a year. Uh, a number of carriages produced today, uh, zero here in Oshawa. Uh, it's very rare to see a horse, uh, very rare to see a horse and buggy in our community. Uh, but the McLaughlins, uh, this community, the workforce here, they, they shifted, they adjusted, and uh, they continue to work uh, with a new emerging automotive industry. Uh, and I imagine uh, moving forward, whatever the next stage is in that evolution, uh, that the city and, and its workforce and its, its community will, will continue to evolve with it.